Hi guys, are you here from Blender Bros and in this video we're gonna be designing some cool sci-fi gadget. Let's go. Alright, we're gonna start with a cube and we're going to scale it down a bit and then S Shift Z and S Y and you know we kinda there. Alright? Cool. Now this video is not going to be for complete beginners. If you are a complete beginner, we have a free course called Jumpstart uh, Hard Surface in Blender. The link is in the video description. And if you're a beginner with add-ons and you know a little bit about hard ups and box cutter, then grab the free terminal design in Blender course also in the video description. So go ahead and snatch them from our website. Enjoy. Um, this uh, video is going to be a bit more advanced in terms of pace i'm not gonna be probably explaining everything because um you know it's wednesday and uh and on wednesdays i'm fucking lazy here um we're going to create something like this maybe another opening here like that and drive it out here like this and i'm going to press b for bevel and scroll out maybe in fact you know what maybe we could do this manually make these bevels a little bit of different sizes yeah let's just do it manually so x and just you know slash it and i'm going to de delete that part here and i can actually apply that so sharpen and then you know i'm going to adjust bevels on each of these corners individually so 90 degrees bevels gonna be a bit more round so let's say maybe eight segments you can see the segments on the bottom and these corners gonna be a little bit less crazy so maybe six segments and kind of shallower bevels here these bevels could be a bit more you know relaxed and again eight and maybe these could be kind of similar and these two could be a bit shallower again so maybe six segments okay then you're gonna have different types of bevels uh this could be a bit better here looking from the top this kind of looks a bit weird maybe this one is too aggressive or maybe this one is too shallow we can fix it with mesh machine right if you need links to machine add-ons again in the video description let's just refuse that and i can actually change the width of this bevel to slightly more uh, maybe or maybe we can change the tension by pressing t so you can change the tension here actually you know what tension i think it's fine um maybe it's the width is the problem something like this yeah i think this is a bit better maybe i don't know I'm not sure what to do with this piece here, to be honest. It's still kind of, uh, you know what, let's just unchain for this. So unbevel that. And I'm going to do it again. Um, eight segments, right? Yeah, maybe, or maybe deeper like that. How about this? Yeah, that looks awful. Um, maybe something like this. Maybe that's okay. Maybe these are too shallow, you know. I don't know. Let's just uh, unbevel that and unbevel this. And I'm going to do it again. Looking from the top here so I can actually kind of, you know, eyeball this. Maybe it should be like a smaller bevel. Something like this. Yeah, okay. So, you know, too much, too much fun here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to alt exit in edit mode and I'm going to have this uh, edge here. I can split it. This is with mesh machine. It's a fantastic mirror. I'm going to grab this one and uh, what we're going to do here is control click on curve extract to basically get these, um, I mean this shape up. EX and move it in here. I'm going to align it with machine tools and uh, put the face here alt x and the face here and i got this shape select everything alt n to calculate outside now you know why i said that this tutorial is not for beginners uh, it's a bit faster yeah uh, here we're going to expand that and we're going to actually shift s to geo and alt x to the other side so we're gonna get this cube and we're gonna 
do something like this. Let's the bevel here so I can see what's happening. I can see the outline here also. Do I have cavity? I do. Awesome. So here, you know, uh, we're going to create kind of like a shape. So let's grab the uh, end gun. And we're going to run an end gun here like this. And maybe like this here and something like that. And X and delete this. And uh, it's just a little bit maybe... Actually, this, that's okay. I think that's okay. This all of it is a bit too thick. Maybe let's make this a little bit thinner like this. There we go. Let's just sharpen this, and I think it's gonna be okay. I'm not sure about this uh, opening here. Maybe I prefer to do something like that, or maybe something like this. I think maybe this is gonna be cool. Yeah, shift D and scale it a bit and difference. So we're gonna have this kind of like an opening here, like a pocket. And uh, you know, we're going to um, we're going to move the uh, let's just apply here everything and shift S to geometry. I'm going to uh, copy to the other side to make sure that these um, both sides are ident identical in terms of um, a bevel. You know the angle here i'm gonna grab that and you know bevel this uh, with eight and alt x and this is going to shift things a bit so shift s to g and one more time something is not right here let me just grab this edge shift s and two edge and then boom okay let's go to occlude and go to the top and grab this and g GY and move it in here like this. Okay, and then we're going to clean the geo. So we're gonna get rid of all the junk. We don't need uh, clean mesh and uh, yeah, perfect. I'm gonna just save it and run power save. Cool, um, so now what I wanna do is I wanna create, uh, actually this could be a little bit too, uh, too protruding. Maybe I can put it a little bit deeper like this, you know? Something like that. Maybe somewhere here. Something like this. And we could probably move this cutter around here. So I have a scroll and GY and move it in here. Now if I if I move it uh, lower, it's going to cut through the bevel, which is not the greatest idea. There's a bevel here, you see. So this is not amazing. This is probably a bad idea. So maybe not that deep. Uh, so maybe this is a bit too deep. Maybe move it in here. So this shape should be a little bit, uh, a little bit shorter. And um, here we could move. You know, we could move this back. So occlude B, grab this G Y, and just you know, kind of make it shorter. And uh, let's just apply with it normals here too. And here, I think what I want to do is I want to grab this face and uh, cut it. So let's go to selection to boolean, insert it a bit and cut it in like that. And shift click to shift to live. Let's go to top view and turn off um, this cyclic. And we're going to run some, um, you know, like uh, cuts here. Something like that. And, the, you know, the part inside doesn't really matter because uh, it's, it's not going to be visible. In fact, we could cut it. So um, what we could do here is grab this main cutter, uh, which is uh, this one, right? And simply chop it off here. So boom, like that, right? And then, you know, um, alt X and mirror, and we can apply this, so sharp. And then uh, what we need to do is we need to make sure that these connections here are more or less civil. So I'm going to run a knife here through, uh, through all of these uh, like that, and we can remove all the junk. You know, this shouldn't be here, like this rubbish, um, all this rubbish, and, you know, this this rubbish and uh, and this one too and then what we can do is we can run some uh, chamfers here so let's just grab these and dissolve them grab that and actually bevel this 
Doesn't matter how many segments you have, this is, you know. I just removed that with three machine tools and there's a smart, actually there's a very, um, it's a cleanup function. Here, these two probably should be identical. Um, this could be a little bit more supple, so larger and cool. And these, these are, you know, the same angle, 90 degrees, so something like that. This one is a bit more steep, so it needs to be deeper, maybe not as deep. And this one, you know, kind of shallowish. And here we got another 90 degrees and a steeper one. And one more here. Could probably remove this one and bevel that. And uh, remove these three and bevel this. Uh, this one a bit steeper. And uh, here, right? And then we're going to recalculate sharpen. So shift click, uh, shift control click on sharpen, and you're good to go. So now we got this sorted, right? We got this, and we're going to mirror it to the other side and bevel it, and you know sharpen. Now, what I want to do is I want to grab this um, this structure here. So all of that, and here. And I'm going to shift curve extract it like this. Right? Now what I want to do is I want to uh, create a gap here in between these two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply that. I'm going to grab this uh, this edge here and dissolve it. I'm going to grab this thing in the middle here and remove that. Shift S and to geometry. I'm going to grab this one and then extract it again. And what I'm going to get is something like this, which is pretty cool. Now let's just uh, solidify it here a little bit. Yeah, something like this maybe. Okay, and we're going to cut this, yeah? So here, let's grab that. And uh, let's actually cut it like this, okay? So, boom. So yeah, that, that will do. Um, did it cut through? Hang on. What is going on here? There we go. Don't need that part. Cool. It's got like a guard, you know, around it. And here we could have, um, you know, chamfer, right? So just a small one, you know, like that. Okay. And alt X and boom. And you could actually run chamfer on these as well it's gonna look pretty decent so uh, y and select and then select control b and uh we could even turn off the loop slide uh, just in case that any weird you know things happening and this looks pretty cool um this looks pretty cool you have chamfer here as well to be honest uh, if you wanted to this is solidified so sharp and and then could run the chamfer on this um, edge here. I'll whoa, alt X, and also we could have a bevel here. Let's apply scale, then bevel this. Whoa, ah, I see the problem. This is the problem, yeah. So, what we need to do here, we could technically move this one in and remove this edge here. Uh, which will move this one out X and one more time remove that this is move the whole structure forward which will allow us to uh, bevel this edge here uh, like this okay uh, and here in the in, in the back what we can do is just move these in well uh, move these in right so now you, can, you cannot see what's happening in the back anyway so it doesn't matter do that and with this done uh, let's just you know I remove that and alt X to the other side and then click out well, one more time. Um, click, click, alt, click, and so we can't do that. But we can do is do the um, let's actually clean mesh. There we go. Click, alt, click one more time. Y, and we're gonna go with the offset cut. But before we do that, I think what we might need to do is do something like this. All right. So let's just run some security edges here I 
like this all tags and all tags and remove the one in the middle and probably remove this one and move this one here and before we do that let's run one more uh, security edge here like this right so now can we remove this one okay cool and with this done uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the chamfer here outside so click alt click y and offset cut and it's going to go nuts so you know let's make it smaller yeah and uh, we need more resolution here but within reason and let's actually go with optimize off and smooth and then we can just run the kind of big chamfer here and we can probably get away with a lot here um this one causes a bit of a problem we can select this edge here so click alt click and then we can split it uh, this is not gonna work very well okay so what we're gonna do here is we're going to run boolean cleanup okay so here boolean cleanup and just clean these edges up like that also these should disappear this one is a really weird edge here in the back I think what I'm gonna do is run it like this okay and then this dissolve that I don't really care what happens here in the back to be honest it's gonna be a bit of a shading mess but to be honest I don't care because you know it's in the back so who cares and this one looks semi decent there's um, some vert that needs to be connected other than that is okay if it's not okay just run a you know knife cut here really close and you're going to isolate all the shading we don't care about topology so if you're a quad boy you know go ahead and have a walk or something walk it off man walk it off this you know this drama is not for you yeah um and you know we're not really doing this for a game asset or anything so who gives a shit about topology now here what we're going to do is we're going to have some fun so uh, let's just save that and uh, let's just add another cube and let's just scale this move here somewhere and let's make it a bit more narrow and let's make it larger and uh, in fact you know what change of plans not a cube cylinder um 32 let's go with 40 and move it somewhere here and scale it Let's show up in this and um, let's go to occlude and let's actually scale this uh, down move it somewhere here and what I want to do now is you know select these edges and move them somewhere like that on this line here move it closer here like this and um yeah let's move them actually farther away here so somewhere like that and let's just grab these and or even these and move them here like that okay cool and move all of these here to the right side and we're going to clean that because we don't need all the geometries so operations clean mesh there we go and i want uh, this to be uh, this kind of a structure here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move all of them here to the top so i'm going to in fact let's just make it a bit easier let's go here and remove this one and we're gonna be left with one one face. So now what we can do is align all these verts to the top. Okay, so we're gonna select uh, this vert. Okay, all these verts here, and this vert is last. Alt A, and we're gonna straighten them up. Okay, like this. And then we're going to um, align this one here. And one more time straighten them up like that boom and we got this kind of a corner now i'm going to go with ctrl shift b and create something like this here okay cool maybe even 
cool maybe even a bit wider so you know just cut it somewhere here on that okay and bevel i mean not bevel sorry um sharpen that's the one and then let's solidify this yes yeah? so um in fact you can just extrude it so e and extrude it shift s and uh shift s to geometry and let's just you know sharpen this select everything here and uh, alt n and we calculate outside okay cool and we're going to mirror this across this one right so you know it's gonna be even here and let's apply everything so go here operations multiply that's not what i wanted to do it's multiply that's the one cool so we got this shape and this could be a little bit better um sort of balanced here let me just move manually here a little bit like that yeah there you go okay and then we need to move these according to these so i'll I move them up a bit perfect it's a bit more relaxed here in the bottom uh, so let's just you know do that and i'll do a macro so we're gonna kind of drop it in like this which is kind of cool and here we could kind of slash this a little bit like this and here we're gonna have an opening so d and let's just run a circle here uh, let's just position it manually more or less like that and i'm going to recover this so uh, let's go to the scroll and uh, let's grab this circle here and go to settings and shift click on sheet solid and let's just create a, a mechanism here now this one shift d and we're going to scale that and we're going to remove the booleans and oh this actually was applied um fair enough um, I need this cut. I need this to become a cut. So let's do that. Press F, E, Z. Move it up. And let's remove this edge here because it's going to get projected. We don't want that. And uh, come on. Uh, G, Z. And there we go. We want to create a boolean here. Difference, right? Uh, boolean is going to be big enough to kind of cut through this entire you know hole that's going to create a kind of like a setting for this structure here right and uh, this circle here which is uh, inside uh, we're going to um, drop a loop here and control b that like this and shift curve extract outside like that cool um even a bit more like this and then select this one or one of them shift d and selection grab that thing and uh, let's just scale it in like this yeah and then shift curve extract and we're gonna delete this and move a cursor here so shift s to geometry and to select it and go to modify uh, go to mesh tools and control click on radial array and do that and we're gonna scale it just a little bit um and we're gonna add some bevel um uh, bevel's gonna fix mess with the scale so let's do it again um let's apply the solidification so apply solidification and one more time mesh tools and radial array and boom and then we're gonna apply bevel to it right there we go and you know and boom this circle needs some needs some love here so let's do that um let's just drop a loop here and move it in here Control b and uh you know alt your macro inside alt x and boom same with this one we need some some chamfer here it's gonna look cool so these chamfers like really nicely offset things as is the this is a trick guys okay we want some bevel here and we also want some bevel here what the hell has happened in here we, before we run the bevel here we need to run the i mean the chamfer we need to run the bevel here and let's just run the bevel here let's just bring it to local and we're going to 
uh, run the bubble here as well and then click alt click and loop select and go to the chamfer okay it's gonna look really nice okay cool uh, and then we need to you know sort of mirror this so alt x and boom bob john cool right here on the top we could have some uh some small opening or whatnot that's too close and it's too big something smaller cool and i could actually create some kind of a structure here you know so maybe something um something like this and b and battle and maybe cut it in a bit and supply a bell because I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, why did normals? Okay, cool. Then we could have another one here. So what we could do is borrow this, right? Um, have a scroll, right? Where is it? This one. And we could uh, select this edge and shift D, X, and move it in here, E, and extrude it. And it's going to do this. And then we could grab this corner here and um just chill for it you know like this right um or you could grab this uh thing and just you know move it down a little bit while well, the whole face not just the edge there we go gy and move it like that you could also go with alt r let's see if it's gonna actually work here uh alt r no it doesn't work so what we could do try doing here is to, um shift the uh, pivot uh, and two individual origins and alt r with um, uh, edge constraint from machine tools and hold control and do something like this this bevel is a bit too crazy so we can actually make it tighter um so what we could do is grab this edge here and alt click on mark and you know kind of tighten it tighten it up a little bit like this right so it's not so you know not so aggressive. This one could be actually larger here. Um, this one, right? So alt and you know make it larger. Oh, not, not that large, but you know. Well, maybe that's okay actually. Something like that. So we're too close to the edge. So what we could do is just simply move it a little bit to the left, or just uh, just this one. So L and GX and sorry GX and move it here, right? And here in the middle, or we could create you know something like this and you know, scale it in, and there we go. Inset it and boom, right? And then just uh, grab these here and create a bit of a chamfer. And the rest can be beveled, right? It can be smooth. This bevel here is way too big. So make it smaller and boom, you got something like this. This could be um this could be um applied here, not clean mesh, um smart apply. Click, click, alt, click, and a bit of a chamfer here as well. All these uh, chamfers going to create like a really nice um you know um sort of a planar shift. It's going to really um, offset everything nicely when you're going to be looking from different angles, you know. Here too, to be honest, we could have, um, you know, um, we could have some chamfers. This is going to play havoc with our loops, but we have a loop slide turned off, so we don't have to worry about it. Select everything and unmark it and recalculate it. Bevel is too crazy, so go lower on bevel and boom. Right here, we could use some, um, you know, some bevel to be honest. That's gonna look better. Same with this one, um, it's gonna be beveled. And we could have something here as well. So, you know, we could insert that and, for example, extrude it and, well, and create a, come on, create a chair for here, like this, right? It could be like a, a fragment of this device kind of sticking out here. Maybe that's too deep. Something like this, you know. And then we're gonna have some monitor. So just grab it in here. And B. 
and bevel it and cut it in and we're gonna use the uh, T for solidification to create this kind of a monitor thing and what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply that and we're going to you know select this one so you can select the face and control L to select everything P and selection so it's gonna be its own selection you can put different mud on it so here we're going to click out click that right click and go to mesh tools and offset edges it's gonna create something like this you can change the parameter here which is pretty cool right um, so you know maybe maybe something like this and click and this one should be you know split from the mesh right so Press face on it and we're going to extrude it up a little bit and select everything here with L and P selection and just grab this one. We're gonna remove the bevel and weight it normals because we're gonna use it as a cutter. Select these two faces and uninsert them and then right click and bridge. Alright? And now what we're gonna do is we're going to run the bevel on them. So control B and press C to clamp it. Gonna run the bevel, Alt X, one more time. Whoa, Shift S to geometry, Alt X. Already now. Where is the, uh... hang on a second. Where is my origin point? Why well, there are two of them? This is weird. Let me remove this garbage. Shift S to geometry and what the hell? LP selection. Shift S to geometry. Also, why I cannot see my origin point? Origins, there we go. Um, let's just uh, let's just remove that. Can I run a loop here? I can. Let's set it to the edge and alt text. There we go, that's what I want. And then we calculate sharpen GZ and drop it down and then difference, right? It's gonna create like a really cool sort of an offset here um, around it. There's an edge here in the middle, you see that? This is caused by the um, by the fact that uh, this cutter has a double edge in the middle. There you go. Press 3 to clean it and it should fix the problem, okay? Because when you clamp a bevel, there's always an edge in the middle, right? I'll show you. Look, when you clamp a bevel um, like this, right? So you're gonna go with C in the middle right you're gonna have a double edge in the middle see what i mean so when you press three with machine tools you're gonna clean that bitch so that's that's a trick cool so we got that uh here click alt click and we're going to run a um, bevel here now we have clamping on so let's turn it off uh and the clamping is definitely uh you know solving some issue with loop sliding so let's turn the loop slide on ah uh, it's here all right, so turn off the loop slide. This is what was causing the problem. So everything looks clean, right? So alt X is gonna add us this kind of like a cool edge on, around around the device. Or what we could do is we could go with, you know, with a chamfer, you know, this would also work, right? A nice chamfer, this would also work. So whichever you um, you feel like, you know, going with. So that's that. Um, here we could have some other cut, um, you know, on the side. Um, maybe a bit more vertical or something like this. Press B and X. And what we're gonna do is uh, sharpen this, and uh, you know, this is gonna be our um, our piece. So Shift S to geometry S and Shift Y. Or actually, let's scale it evenly and then expand it on Y axis. And move it a bit inside like that. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Maybe that's a bit too deep. Uh, maybe something like this. And this can be a different color as well, yeah. And on top of this, um, we could have some kind of a, you know, some kind of a device on the bottom, some kind of a maybe cylinder or something. And let's make it 50 and let's rotate it here move it and scale it and we could actually add it on the bottom like this you know just uh, but this is gonna destroy our shape so maybe we could add it somewhere here just on the top like that 
So it's not on the bottom, it's on the top, it's going to offset. Not everything has to be symmetrical, guys. Yeah. Um, here, let's add some loops. Now what we need to do is we need to make sure that this um, edge doesn't overlap with this surface. Put it somewhere here in the middle, right? In the middle. Sharpen that. Uh, we don't need so many loops in here, so we can remove them. And we can run, uh, you know, a bevel here after we apply scale. So let's do that. Um, and it's going to be nice and round on this side. And here we could have a chamfer, so control plus. That's too many. Somewhere here, F. And let just, let's just, you know, chamfer this, like this, and sharpen. This could be a little bit deeper here. And then, you know, uh, Boolean's union. Right? And we need to, you know, fix the damage here, right? So let's see the wireframe. What's, what's causing the problem? Hmm. That is interesting, actually. Hang on, let me just uh, grab this cutter here. Something is not right. Clean that. And also, there's a double edge here. Why is it there is a double edge here? Dissolve that. And unmark it. There we go. This should solve the problem. And then, you know, sharpen, and we need to just basically create a bit of a better, you know, transition here, right? So just do that. You could technically run a, you know, run an edge here like this if you wanted to. Uh, we could just go to occlude and fix all this rubbish here. So, you know, just remove that. This is, you know, too long, so just bring it up. You could combine it here if you wanted to with, you know, with this like that. And then you can just, you know, fix all these, dissolve that, dissolve that, dissolve that, and dissolve, not this one, this one, and you're done. And the same thing on the other side, because, you know, this is not, uh, you can't, you can you can't mirror this, right, so, you know what I mean, there we go, and then just, you know, remove these, the junk here. Which is causing problems. And combine these. And it's clean. Here too, just move this up, GG, and you know, boom, right? Cool. So here we could uh, run um, GG. GG, move it in here and split it, and we could just run EM macro. So we'll nicely offset this bit here, and you know here we could just uh, inset it a little bit, or even quite a lot, and do something like this a bit stronger, inset it a bit more, and um, not all the macro uh, curve extract here, apply it, and you know create uh, this kind of a situation here inset it and and maybe lower the bevel and run a chamfer okay and we got color sharpens boom okay same here we could create another one you know all the macro the the kind of nice separations you know on your shapes this bevel here is a bit crazy that's better. Cool. Um, here too, we could have some, uh, you know, some notches. So you could just run uh, what you call this wedge cuts, and uh, you're gonna be good. And here too, we could have some additional cut around, you know. So going somewhere from here, going down here, and maybe uh, coming up. Um, somewhere here or even encompassing the entire shape like this press b for a little bit of a bevel make it tight and we're going to just slice it a little bit so e uh, or press x and slash this entire bit and it's going to be actually a separate part which is kind of interesting right so sharpen here and you know operation smart uh, smart apply yeah a cleaned mesh 
and it's not what I wanted to do, but it's okay. And here, uh, once this is separated, what we need to do, not this one, um, yeah, this one is separated, right? So what we need to do is we need to run the chamfer here, just a small one, okay? It's gonna create additional separations on the mesh. So like a small chamfer uh, here, like this, right? And you see it's going to add this kind of like a piling, cool piling effect on, on this mesh. And you know, in addition to that, you could have some notches here. So maybe, maybe one notch here. So shift V and let's align to longest edge. And I grab that and uh, uh, let me just grab a, a box and let me just do that properly here. Come on, select that. All right, shift V, nearest edge. There we go. And maybe you know wedge cut here and and maybe somewhere here if you can avoid placing things in the center like here in the center of the line it's gonna look a little bit better when it's offset um, offsetting things is usually a good idea okay here too we could have some kind of uh, I don't know you know some kind of a battery pack opening would not be and you know, do something like this, but press T, and maybe it's some bevel, and uh, one more time, not X, um, T, there we go, you know, and sharpen that, and this technically could also be either beveled or chamfered let me see i think bevel is gonna be better here maybe and these two could be beveled as well you know so it's gonna be a bit different than this entire shape which could be interesting although in this case maybe it doesn't work mm, maybe i'm just gonna chamfer the top you know here something like that cool uh, here in the front, we could uh, have an additional element. So, scale it in and, you know, bring it, bring it over. And we could have some kind of like a, I don't know, um, you know, pro protect, uh, sort of like a framing, protective framing, whatever. Here, here, and here and X and delete that and then sharpen this uh, this needs to be supple and this needs to be beveled and then and what we're gonna do is uh, grab just this out outer part here and basically curve extract and then delete that and we're gonna have this kind of like a you know parameter here around this uh, around this device and of course we're going to slash it so um, cube and I'm going to slash it with a beveled cutter all right so I'm gonna scroll and boom right awesome and here we could have you know not a cut or something or whatnot in fact this this one could actually um this one could actually extend here so control r and we could grab this one here and extrude it like this right grab these edges and uh we can just unmark them which is gonna remove bevel from here but it's gonna keep bevel in here okay um, and then uh, let's just apply that and click alt click and we can just add the other chamfer or kind of like a soft bevel but soft bevel can be added with you know just a regular bevel so i think chamfer is going to be more interesting a lot of that right cool and this could be some kind of a protective you know protection here for a cable and I want to add the cable, so uh, let's just go to assets with k tops and we're going to grab inserts and grab that. And um, I'm going to add an insert. 
second one. This is not where I wanted to edit, I wanted to edit here. So one more time, add insert, not the material, add insert. There we go, and scale it down. Let's just remove this hideous name. And um, we're gonna actually um, rotate it manually here and make it larger, right? And remove all the mats because reasons. And duplicate this and scale it and actually align it in here and scale it down. Um, maybe somewhere here. We could increase the width of this one, you know, so um, check for width and just make it wider. There we go. That's a mesh machine for you. And we could align this here um, properly like that. Cool. And then we can run a, run a cable. There could be two of them in here. We could run a cable from, um, from this one to this one um, and let's just fix this because bollocks um, let's just fix this here yep like that that's what I want to do perfect and I want to run a cable like this right. And this is too thick, yeah, so we're going to adjust it, something like that, yeah. Um, and this will do. Can be a bit skewed, that's okay. Um, or in fact, what we could do is move this one a bit to the, uh, to the top. So rotate it like this, move it in here and scale it down and remove this one or keep this one. And what we could do here is actually shift D and make it bigger and difference and create something like this sharpen and click alt click and chamfer which is gonna actually uh, this is a bit too close wait a minute uh, let's select both of them and move them up here and then apply this right because then my chamfer is not gonna be colliding so this one is a bit larger and this one is smaller, so we're going to run another cable here. So shift alt C with Cablerator. I have a new video on Cablerator, so go ahead and watch it, guys. It's fantastic. It will teach you everything you need to know, um, you know, about cables. I'm not going to be adding these as caps because there's no point. I'm just going to manually adjust these. Um, but you can do some crazy stuff with Cablerator. Just saying. This could be a little bit longer, you know, uh, here, so could be a bit, you know, could be a bit longer here, just saying, and maybe not as thick, kind of like that, right, so, awesome, that will do, cool, 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 okay, here now, I'm thinking that this hole here could be a little bit bigger. Um, you know, what we could do here, this one, right? Oh, come on now. Move it in here and slash. Boom. It's gonna be better, I think, um, because what we can do now is uh, click, hold, click, and chamfer, and click, hold, click, and chamfer. Let's just clean that because Jesus, uh, clean mesh. There we go. Click, hold, click, and chamfer, and then alt X. Okay. And what I can do now is run a, a kind of like a you know clip in here, but not so key, uh, plain. RY90 and RZ90. Move it in here, convert it to a vert with machine tools, shift one by combining all the verts in the middle. 
and then let's just uh, run something like this here select them both or in fact select one it's a bit too high then do something like this ey move it in here and easy and alt x and this is too too low so something like this and this probably could be around it and this should be around it and so should this be around it right and then we can just go to curve extract right and press s in 201 and create something like this like a clip you know this is a bit too thick so make it thinner and you know we could just rotate it so what we could do is grab this cutter here uh, which is uh, we can't grab a cutter anymore we do now is uh, grab this cutter here so alt h grab this cutter here this circle shift s and to select it and then the machine tools will automatically shift our cutter i mean the pivot point we can now rotate it based on uh based on that and we can clip it in here like this all right looks pretty cool okay awesome and uh that'll do and of course this you know would be illogical if it would be a continuous loop so what we need to do is slice it here right so we need to slice it in the middle so so let's grab the um, uh, visual to mesh and just you know slash it here sharpen it and then grab these two uh, if we're gonna do something like this um, Q and EM macro there we go and then bevel yeah that's better what the hell three to clean it there we go so that's that and you know then you can texture this thing i mean this is easier than easy as pie um, because all we need to do is just stop some textures on it let's just scale it on the z-axis this could be some kind of uh button or something maybe it's actually too deep uh, maybe just a little bit deeper and maybe what i could do is grab all these and extrude them in here do that this could be some kind of a button you know hang on hang on hang on let me just fix this a bit let's first remove this chamfer that's right so unchamfer that um let's unchamfer this one as well and all tags yeah come on unchamfer and all tags good so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change dynamics of this we're going to run um a bevel here and then a bevel here like this and create like a really supple kind of a button thing over here with some sort of an um opening here maybe or like some kind of like a rail um maybe here alt h in fact uh what we could do is run a cut with uh solidification press bevel on it and mirror yeah there you go that will do okay guys and uh then we have texturing well, that's easy i mean you know just set the texture here let's go to cycles here we got some plastic with uh, kid ups so other and this plastic it's awesome i have a link to this uh pack um on the in the video description it's a pack um it used to be called definitely EV materials and now it's called um, EV and cycle materials or something like that. It's really good and uh, it's extremely fast. You can work with it really quickly. You can add some dirt to it as well, so it's pretty good. Anyway, uh, let's make it actually maybe yellowish. Uh, let me see. Like a yellowish device. Why not? Um, this here outside could be a different color, so we could just, uh, you know, 
grab this and expand it a bit and we could add another mod here uh, so let's just uh, let's just add a rubber here so rubber add mod and we can actually apply the same mod here so where's rubber rubber sign it's gonna frame this screen really nicely this should be darker non-metallic uh, way darker because the screen right and should be rough well, I mean less, less rough because it's reflective the screen uh, this could also be the rubber so we could do that and this could be a rubber as well because why not and the cable could be a rubber and also this wheel inside could be a rubber right awesome and this could be this could be actually made of some kind of a different metal or some stuff but you know it could be actually of this yellow because why not this could be metallic kind of like I don't know, titanium or something, um, metal and, you know, like mud titanium or some steel, um, like a titanium shiny, because why not, it's going to look really new, um, this could be titanium as well, this handle here, and this could be titanium too, to be honest, because why not. Actually, this doesn't look good. Um, let's just make it um, yellow. So this could be a different color. It could be darker, you know. It could be like, um, let's say, oh, whoa, I need to separate this color. Just Let's just separate that, remove the saturation and make it darker. You know, kind of like uh, um, dark plastic, okay? To be honest, um, this could be the same color just to separate it nicely, you know. See what I mean? Could be blue, whatever. This could be a, a glass as well here. And uh, the front of this one could be also. Um, let me just grab this to local and let me see when it ends. Yeah, up to here is fine. We could just make it into a rubber. You know, it's gonna be nice. Gonna have a good tip here. It's gonna offset it really nicely. Um, to be honest, this one could be a pla you know, all these could be a plastic, to be honest. Um, it's gonna probably look better. Does it? It looks less calm, I mean, less insane. This technique could be a metal, to be honest. Um, we can maybe just run this titanium here on these two parts. Fuck it, why not? And this one could be, you know, the same. And there you go, and then all you need is just some decals here, which is, you know, a joke. And some trenches, guys, and that's it, and you got yourself a device. Uh, so let's just put it in here. Let's put some background, so with hard ups, that's not the best background. Um, come on. Oh, Jesus, really? There we go, that's better. Um, be a little bit lower it's gonna be a better AO if you're gonna get, leave like a tiny gap it's gonna have this nice AO okay we're gonna have some decals which is gonna be really easy uh, we can grab some uh, some decals like that for example maybe that's not the best one I think actually you know what this could work um, adjust it just make it bigger and put it somewhere here and project and when you project it you'll see that the decal doesn't fit very well what you can do is go here to match and you can scroll down um, to you know match it to color right so match and scroll down or press hold shift and you can actually adjust it or press d and shift to adjust the the outside you know these these uh, holes outside and you can do something like this um, you can also um, adjust decals on the main mesh so here uh, let's grab some screws small ones right and uh, maybe even smaller ones uh, and maybe drop one here drop one here drop one 
here and maybe here. Here's gonna be better, I think. And uh, fuck it, four is enough. Um, double click D and project, and then the match scroll. You can make them yellow if you want to. Uh, I would prefer to make them darker. Uh, maybe not this dark. This is good. And I see this outline here around. So watch D, match D, and shift. And you can actually match it to uh, to the color uh, of the of the um, material that's outside. I think it's a new change in decal machine. We used to have to use Instamat, but we don't have to do that anymore. So um, here, let me see. We need some UI decals. Fuck, where is it? Where are my UI decals? Oh, here. I think I'm going blind. D adjust and put it somewhere here. Cool. Project. I'm going to change the color of it because reasons. Um, and maybe three. Boom. Right, there we go, and let's just add some stuff here. So here we could add something. Yeah, we could add some of these, you know, like that. So this could be like a button-ish thing. Okay, so D and project it. There we go, and then we're gonna array it. I think it's gonna be easier. Why this array is going the other way? It's kind of weird. Okay, and then we're going to match it. There we go, now it's working. Boom. And alt X and mirror. And you're gonna get this kind of a you know cool thing here going on. Um this one needs something definitely, some kind of uh you no know, I don't know notches or whatnot, so let's go here and find something cool. Um That's cool, uh, this would work. Adjust. So one here, and maybe one here, click them both, and D, and project, and then, you know, same story, just match them. Could make them darker, actually, could be cool. So D, match, D, shift, and then one more time, there we go. I think that the dark could be actually interesting. I don't know if it's not too strong, though, maybe it's a bit too strong. Yeah, it's probably better. So you got a detail, but it's not overwhelming. You know, I really wish I could just uh, do something here. Maybe I'm just gonna literally run some kind of, uh, you know, wedge. Or uh, we could grab another decal that's actually pretty cool for that, which is this one, really long. By the way, guys, uh, we have, uh, you know, a lot of interesting decals. There's a massive pack you can grab. And you can save a lot of money on that because it's cheap as hell. This could actually be a raid up here. How is this gonna look? Uh, not so good. Maybe if I made it smaller. So apply this in here. Summer, right? What if I'm going to do this? Oh, well, that's actually better, so let's do that, so project. And then I could have something here, you know, uh, some kind of a, I don't know, light, light indicator or some shit. Um, maybe one of these, you know, put it somewhere here, like a small one. Um, and project it, and then match. Actually, this one could be yellow. I wouldn't mind it being yellow. Although we need to match the environment, I mean the outside of it, so D. Make it darker and this one yellow, that kind of stands out, you see, in the, in the mud, that's pretty cool. Here we could have some name or some stuff. These are decals from our membership. Pick solutions, why not? Um, boom. And put it somewhere here. And project. Cool, make it black, so max it out, drop it down, and uh, when maybe not that deep, 
color gray you know pick there you go looks pretty decent and here we could have some kind of uh, other sticker with maybe some info maybe something like this you know that's gonna be too much in here yeah we could put it in here and you know fade it out so drop the alpha to maybe like zero two so it's faint maybe that's a bit too faint there we go and and then we can have some trim sheet guys here yeah? so for example we could just run the trim sheet here so grab that and now you need to run trim sheets with mats so um let me find something cool that makes no sense Uh, that, that would work something like this is gonna offset it nicely sure. here too have some trim sheet same story needs to be with a mat so you know there we go and maybe here as well Okay, and we could have some trim sheets on the cable. Um, this could be either. Um, let me see what we can get here. Oh, that's pretty cool. I will do. And we could have some trim sheets here as well, tiny ones. So watch this. Um, I'm gonna run this on this one, like a tiny one here. See what we can get. No, I don't like this one. Let's run this one. Eight. They're gonna be barely visible, but you know they're gonna break the surface a bit. Okay, same here. Or oh, this one, by the way, could be yellow, maybe. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Oh, this could be metal, you know. Actually, this could be this titanium. Boom, yeah, that's better. And here we could have something as well. So, you know, some trim trim here. Um, something like that, you know, whatever. And this is going to look cool. And here too we could have something, uh, you know, some, I don't know, so maybe some, some chamfer. Just on one side. Just a chamfer to break the surface. And we could have some text here on this side probably look cool uh, what is this secure oh, actually it's not bad something like this here I would rather put it in here project and same story I'm just gonna drop it down remove the saturation we cannot there guys I think looks pretty decent this floor, I'm not sure if I want it to be reflective. Um, we could just go with this. Something like that, yeah. We got the grime here as well, you know. Grime could be cool, so other and grime at mud. Boom, something like that. They look pretty sweet. And then we can just drop a camera. So it's a full course now, yeah. <laughs> Including rendering. Let's just uh, go here with 85. A little bit more, you know, sort of a compressed view. And unlock from view. And then what we need to do is just find a correct lighting for it. I think this one is not bad. This background though is a bit dark. It's kind of melding here with the. Um, maybe we can, you know, change it to a blue one. Maybe yeah, blue one's gonna be better because it's gonna complement the um, the device. Uh, we could probably increase the either increase the lighting or maybe change it. Um, 
uh, I think I have the default um, abandoned slipway here. So we could rotate it a little bit to see if we can find some different angles. Maybe more reflective ones. Something like that, you see, just showing a bit more of this device. Pump it up to 1.2 so it's brighter. Um, and, you know, I think we're done. So re render it and see how we're looking. Now the framing could be a bit better. Um, let me see if we can actually change the angle a bit. So lock to view and maybe a bit more flat view. If we can have a flatter view, we can fill the frame with it. With this object, even can crop this a little bit, or maybe cropping isn't the best idea here. Something like this could work, okay? So sometimes angle shift is important, you know. There you go. See what I mean? That looks better. Could be a bit more room in the bottom too. It's choking here in the in the bottom a bit, so. Um, lock the view, zoom out a bit, and move it slightly up, just a tiny bit, and unlock from view. Now let's see that. Yeah, that's a bit better. You could look into our course rendering university if you want to learn more about framing and lighting. We go there in depth on on this topic okay guys well i think that looks pretty cool very simple exercise you can create some you know um, interesting device very quickly just by playing with cutters and and whatnot we could use something here as well you know like in this area it's a bit empty in it um here you know something maybe some kind of a decal um maybe some kind of like a vent whatnot let me see um something like that maybe here, would it make sense? Can like a speaker or some shit? I don't know. Here, you know, so it's not in the middle. Project, boom. Yeah, I think it's good. That's better. So you kind of like con sort of create a continuity between this color and this color. So I'm gonna invite you to look in, slide across these and explore the thing. Also, here we could have something as well, some kind of a notch, whatnot. I could technically just run a cut here, you know, uh, like that. And or like a wedge cut, you know, so W and boom, right? And maybe uh, not the not this way, the other way. So W, there you go. Here, yeah, it's gonna break the surface a bit better. Or even uh, let's just uh, not us it loader this one. Have a scroll, scale this a bit, and move it in here, and and uh, you know do that. Yeah, this is better, I think. Cool, let's render that. Yeah, see that that just brings a bit more attention over there and here you can all anchor stuff a bit better. Yeah, this is good. That's decent. We could also have some kind of a uh, small sticker here, maybe going around, but I can't be bothered. Alright guys, well that's it. Um thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.